afternoon. I just want to acknowledge Ernie Aldridge, the, who is Eldridge, who is the uh, uh, mayor of uh, Wyndham Willimantic. I just say always the mayor of Willimantic. Uh, and to acknowledge the uh, important participation and support that we get from the uh, town. And from you, Ernie, it's really wonderful to see you here. Most mayors wouldn't show up for a small gathering like this. Thank you so much. <laughs> what a beautiful place to play a game. I know there are professional softball players earning a living today, but they started out like our players did, playing the game they love in their backyard somewhere. This is our backyard. This is Eastern's backyard, and it's simply amazing. It's beautiful. It's a wonderful athletic field in a beautiful setting. What a treat will be for all of us to watch our games here from now on. But a lot of people got us here today. I want to thank the Deputy Commissioner, you heard from him, from uh, Bud uh, Salemi, and his staff for being with us today and for his kind words of encouragement. Bud did a lot to get us here. He's from the Department of Construction Services, formerly DPW. I want to tell you, Bud, though, I didn't want that bridge. I wanted bleachers. And Nancy told me, no, you cannot have bleachers. We have no money. I said, take the bridge away. Put a cheap little wooden bridge there. And she's an engineer. She said, you can't have a cheap little bridge there. DPW won't let you. And I said, but I want bleachers. Right, girls? We want to be bleachers. And I fought to the death, but Nancy won because DPW said I needed to be in compliance with every other law you have in Connecticut. So, But I blame you for having <laughs> anyway, Bud's been a wonderful supporter, and I'm teasing him because we had the choice to make, and we decided we would put all our money in the field, making it safe, making it appropriate for the women, and that we would postpone having bleachers for a short time. But I promise the women we will have bleachers soon. Beautiful, better than the men's bleachers. <laughs> some, of the, some of the contractors are here today. Thank you for this beautiful, beautiful field. Thank you for coming to the event. Sometimes we don't thank you enough. You're here every day doing the work, and then this is the result, and we forget how much labor, how much love, how much attention went into it. So thank you to all the people from the construction end. I especially want to thank Elaine Clark from the Board of Regents for attending. It's a long ride from Hartford. She's new to the job, has a long list of things to do, and she made this a priority. I think we're going to have the benefit of her intelligence and leadership at the system office in leading many projects across the state at the community colleges and at the state, college, state colleges. So Elaine, thank you for being here today and for the support. Susan Johnson heard me kvetch so many times about this field, she used to avoid me wherever she saw me. Because as you know, I don't know if many of you remember, we needed the support of the legislature. It was instrumental in getting us to this moment. We also have former Eastern ball players with us. It's wonderful to see you back to share the joy around the diamond today. I don't know if everyone will recall, but as we were putting up a new parking garage, I was panicking behind the scenes. There was our old softball field going away. When I got the phone call on my uh, cell phone that I had gotten the garage, I assumed I was getting the field. I didn't know that the governor had not approved the field. And it became a very, very difficult situation for the coach, for our women players, and of course for all the leadership of Eastern. Day after day, we tried to talk to people about the field, but people would tell us that this project was frivolous and that we didn't need a field, we just had to wait. Public construction projects across Connecticut were put on hold. We wonder when we would see a new softball field at Eastern. Every time we saw the senator, every time we saw Representative Johnson, we asked, and she was very, very supportive supportive as was he. This project was brought to fruition because Governor Malloy decided it was important. Until this day, I want to thank Governor Malloy for putting this on the list immediately when he became governor. It was one of his first acts to put, the, put this field on the Bond Commission and we are very, very grateful. While we are here today to dedicate this field, we are really here to show our support for this team. What a special group of women I have here at Eastern. In addition to their accomplishments on the field, and Molly alluded to that a little bit and so did the coach, we know that these young women are students first. And the list of career paths they seek are impressive. Molly Rathburn, a three-time All-American, 
whom you heard just now, is pursuing a career in nursing. Other players are seeking to become psychologists, mathematicians, coaches, computer scientists, educators, and people in business. If their work on the field is any indication, you know that these alums are going to be very successful out there in the world. Let me say a few words about our coach, Coach Pepin. Diana was, one of the, uh, was a member of Eastern's five national championship teams and has brought her skills as a coach, her love of the game, her respect of the students, her commitment to Eastern, and her competitive spirit to this current team. If you put all those things together, the results have been dramatic. Despite not having a home field, our team was third and fifth in the nation the past two years. Isn't that great? Without a field. They will take their new home field ranked third in the country. Eastern's team is third in the country with a record of 30 and one. I know they are anxious to get another shot at a national title, but we all know what Coach Pepin is thinking. Focus on the game today. Focus on the game at hand. We're going to cut the ribbon. We're going to play ball today. And we're going to have Representative Johnson throw out the first ball. But before we do all that, I want to thank everybody for coming one more time and ask you with all your might and strength to look at these women and say, Go Warriors. I'll count to three. One, two, three. Go Warriors!